What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm cleaning up my room and taking um, some old clothes to um, a. Uh, what do you call them? Like a like a charity shop thing where you can take your old clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, put you down, and we're gonna we're gonna get into this. So let me just get down. Right here. Let me put it across that way. So this is what I got to work with. Um, you can obviously see the mess on sort of this part of the bed. Um, it goes all the way up to the head. And I don't even want to show you what the ground of my feet looks like. Um, we've got quite a bit of rubbish to put in its various waste disposal methods so we can be rid of them um, and then yeah it's predominantly just clothes after that um, which means that I will be going through all of my drawers my cupboards everything and donating anything that I either don't wear anymore or that doesn't fit um, to charity so I've got uh, this bag here. It's full of the red cycle bags. I'm just going to use those. Um, and then I've got a little bit of work ahead of me. Uh, so I'm going to get into that and I will check in with you guys again once I'm done. only taken me all day but I think this view is a lot nicer um, yeah um, plus I've got the window right in front of me meaning that if I'm going to film in the day direct sunlight coming in um, which is gonna be good there's still a few little things I have to fix up um, and I didn't actually get to take in my charitable donation down yet uh, so it's going to have to be in the morning but we have finished cleaning the room it is clean I have floors to walk on um, I'm now able to access all of the drawers under my bed. I've got my little sort of charging station over there. Um, this phone will end up being the one over there because this is the one with the um, like wake up alarms and having to get up and walk over to turn it off. It's kind of a good thing to have um, where my bed used to be going this way across the room I was able to sort of just roll over regardless of which side it was on and turn it off but now it's I actually have to get up um, even if that's only to the end of my bed I still have to get up uh, and the act of doing so will help um, and then yeah for filming videos like this 
it's a lot nicer in the background. Um, that is my bedroom door instead of my cupboard. My cupboards are on this side, but that's just my actual bedroom door right here. Um, and like, Gengar gets to be a part of the action now. He's always been there. He, he's just now in the background. Um, yeah. So, I think that's where I'm gonna have to sort of leave it for tonight, at least. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow, um, I've got work, I've got a whole bunch of stuff I've got to do as well. Um, I am officially enrolled in AFTERS, so I'm officially now a student. Um, I've got to organise my student ID photo, which I'm going to have to go to the post office. Well, I'm not, I don't have to, but I'm going to go to the post office to get a passport photo for that. Um, I've got to get my USI and then my student number and my payment details for how I pay off my course is going to come in. Um, so I can slowly pay that off as well. Um, I did a little bit of house hunting today, found a couple of really cool units close to afters for only like 200 bucks a week, which is good for Sydney. Um, they've got like communal kitchens and stuff, but it's private bedrooms. One of them has like a private balcony as well, so like I have my own little space, which I is kind of what I want. A little bit anxious about having a full share house, where it's like, I mean, it's basically the same thing, but I don't know. I sort of sold myself on it. Because um, it's not like, yeah, I don't know. My brain does weird things. And, and it's just, for some reason, and doing it this way seems less anxiety inducing than going on to like, flatmates, whatever, um, so that's sorted, I've got to go down to Centrelink and sort out my Centrelink payments because, um, I don't know if I need my student number or not to get put onto, um, Study, which I'm eligible for as a student now, um, and yeah, um, if I need my student number, that will come in a week after my contract at my current job ends, um, so, and there's no guarantee I'll get work after that contract ends, so only having it be a week, um, it's the it's last or second last week of January that that will come in, um, and I don't st and I start um, after the end of February, so it really gives me sort of February to really move down. Um, so it's kind of go 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 at the moment. Um, I've got just over, which well, is about four weeks till I get my student number. So there's a lot to sort of try and organize in the meantime um yeah so we 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 shall see um we'll see how we go um but yes all happening a uh, very productive day all around um i would have liked to have been able to just get in the zone and finish the room off quickly because I did go down the street a couple of times throughout the day um, and obviously was out of the room doing various things throughout the day as well. I would like to have just been able to be in here, sort this all out and then go and do other things but my brain likes to bounce around between different things and this was just sort of the thing it kept bouncing back to. Um, so yeah, I will finish this video tomorrow I suppose and um, until then, I mean, for me, I'm signing off for the night, but for you, you'll see me in about two seconds. Um, it was going to be one second for that joke, but uh, two days later instead of one, because stuff happened yesterday and I just wasn't in the mood to film anything. Um, 
but I've got four bags of stuff here which I was able to sort of finalise while on the phone with the government so I can sort out my finances for next year. Um, so all starting to come together. I found a, a, a little room in a terrace thing within walking distance to the school for ridiculously cheap for Sydney. So I've got to try and jump on that as quickly as possible. Um, and I've only got about three weeks left of my contract at my current job. So it's all happening. All happening. Um, and some days are super stressy, very depressy, and other days are like today, and I'm just feeling, feeling good, you know, um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna go and donate these clothes, and then we're gonna go and do a little bit of grocery shopping, and then... Yeah, and then I've got to get my USI number. I've got to find my USI number, rather. Um, double check what else it is that I need. Um, but otherwise, I'm very much on top of the things that I need to do before the end of February. So I'm currently two months ahead of where I need to be. Roughly. Um, so, yeah. Um, any other little, little details that I can give you that don't really need their own video? I don't think so. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else that I really need to really need to tell. Uh, everything else that I can think of is just sort of going to be in a own video anyway, so... There you go. We're gonna go... This way. Um, I'll just, just let you run, because... Two blocks out, turn on the camera off. <sighs> so the place I was taking them to be like the, the bags of clothes to be donated isn't taking donations at the moment they are closed until the 4th so I'm probably going to where I work there's a um, dog outside going off um, and if there's a like an op shop thing right on the corner where I turn to to go to work so I might just take him there on my way to work tomorrow morning. Um, because otherwise they're just going to be sitting in my car until then. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's probably in all likelihood what's going to happen. Um, feels good. It's better. Um, until then, I've got this to clean up, but I have, it does mean that I've gone through everything. So, once I get the room clean, that's it. It is cleaned. Um, so, I'll give you a little tour of what we've got. Obviously, the bed situation is the way it has been. Um, we got some stuff down there that needs to be gone through. Um, there's a lot of bags I've found. I've got to go through them all. Um, I can take my shoes off now. I'm home and I'm here to stay. And I'm... Oh, wait. 
wait for it. Oh, that's better. Take socks off. Um, the top of my cupboard is all bedding stuff. I've got all of my shirts on this end. I've got a scarf there that I'll be packing to take with me to Sydney. My jeans and pants and stuff next. And then right up in the back here is my cosplay stuff. So I've got my to open the door in front of it I've got my uh, Delson stuff the bare minimum for my gem then fetch got to try and work out what I'm doing as far as my rubbish is concerned I may be able to sit it over the side there but then it's kind of in the way and ruins the point of having my bed this way so I can access the drawers um, and then yeah, I went through my shoes. Like I said, there's a little bit left to be done before I've completely done a clean out. Um, but I do know that there's no more clothes to be put into bags. That's all. That was for, that was priority number one. Um, so I'm going to leave this video here. Um, let me sit this down so I can do my outro. Ugh. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. And while you're up there, ring that notification bell as well. Turn on those push notifications so you can be kept up to date when I upload new videos. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, links to... Um, if I was going to be donating to a lifeline, it will now be done to a St. Vincent de Paul, I think it is. It might be another lifeline. Either way, links in the description for all of the good work that they do. Um, yeah, and until next time, keep your head screwed on, and I will leave you with the uh, imagery of me actually donating the stuff. <laughs>